One of my favorite ways to really enhance text is to use the drop shadow. So to do that, go ahead and click to select your layer with the text that you want to add the drop shadow to. And then go ahead and double click anywhere on this layer except for not on the name. That's going to bring up your layer style text box. Let's go ahead and let's move this right below our title that we want to reformat. Uh, and that way, as we do so, we can see the changes. So go ahead and click on Drop Shadow. And this is going to add a drop shadow. And you have a preview over to the right but also you can see it up below. So your first option here is to choose a blend mode. And these are lots of different modes that you can choose that really alter the way the shadow looks. And as you go ahead and select one, you're gonna see a change. Um, so go ahead and select one that you like. I'm gonna do a normal one. You can change the color of the drop shadow if you would like to. and that's going to create a color drop shadow. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to keep it back pretty dark. Okay, now you have the opacity and as you adjust the opacity, the higher the opacity goes, the darker your drop shadow is going to be. The lower the opacity, the more transparent it's going to be. I'm going to keep it rather dark so we can see it. I want it to be really dramatic. And you can also change the angle of the drop shadow. And then this is just going to determine what angle is used. And that also depends on the blend mode that you've chosen. Go ahead and leave it like that. You can do the distance that your drop shadow moves away from your text. And that's a really way, good way to really make it pop off the screen. You can also adjust the spread if you'd like for a different effect. The size of the drop shadow. And as you can see, if you make it really big, it gets kind of blurry. And then you can also do the contour if you'd like. And this really gives a whole new look to your drop shadow. And then you can also adjust the noise, which is just how broken up the pixels are in the drop shadow. And I want mine to be pretty strong. Okay, so once you get your settings how you want on your drop shadow, go ahead and click OK. And you can see the changes that have been made to our title. Created a really dramatic look with just a few settings to develop our drop shadow.